Alright y'all, so this is part two. Go back to part one to catch up. Okay, so basically, like I said, the karmic knows that the masculine is lying because they have a lot of unhealthy habits. Alright, so it's like they already know it. They know that they, they moved on. And for what I, I just also heard that some of these karmics know that you are their twin. Okay, they see them making life changes. They see the masculine changing their priorities and everything. All right, so they're not stupid. They, I'm hearing it that definitely highly intuitive as well. Um, so how long is the masculine gonna keep up with this? Six of Swords comes out. So basically, it's coming to an end. Okay, if it hasn't already ended now, it's coming to an end soon. Whatever these challenging times is that the masculine is going through with this, you know, there's karmic situations, karmic people, whatever. It's like they're getting ready to make some type of transition here um, and move forward. It's like they're finding their way right now to a more peaceful place is how I'm seeing it, okay? Or they're moving into that direction. So it's happening, but it's like slowly but surely and right now it feels like they're still trying to keep the peace or something here between them and the karmic and why is that why are they still trying to keep the peace okay so basically right because they know your masculine is making um or let me just say they're going through a transformation right and here um we got the eight of swords that came out which was really in the reverse and the transformation card and it's still a part of their um the aspect of their life where they felt like they were trapped right and it's like now they're trying to take some type of responsibility for their life now okay so they were actually afraid to take some type of action is how i'm basically seeing it but because they know they have to make certain changes here um they um that this is why they're doing it it's like they got this unexpected revelation that's how i'm feeling about it right and that's what comes out i see my mistakes they got this unexpected revelation that came through and they're realizing they got to release release these old belief systems but because of whatever they did to this karmic okay this is why they're now trying to kind of like make amends all right so i'm definitely hearing they're realizing what they did here to the karmic um that was an injustice okay so tell me about i see my mistakes divine feminine they may even express to you, you understand what they did, okay, and how they did it or admit that they did something that was, um, you know, that was wrong on their part, okay. I got the Ten of Pentacles that came out, which was in the reverse position. So they definitely see here um, their pride, you know, and everything that they've done um, that could have actually disrupted them having this Ten of Pentacles with you. You understand this? healthy balanced relationship um the financial security for themselves even too where y'all could be able to come together to actually have um this legacy right and they also see even I, I'm, I'm hearing somebody even could have um gotten a karmic pregnant at some point or they could be pregnant now right um i do see this could be a karmic also that they may have children with is also what i'm seeing but i see here like they're saying how they have created um, these uh, um, families, right, or um, children, and they have dishonored, you know, some type of tradition or what they think to be uh, to be traditional, right? I'm hearing like somebody's masculine definitely looks at um, having a family where it's the whole family. You understand, like it's the mom, the dad, the kids, right, and not having a bunch of kids or things like that, right? Um, or creating these situations here that is not leaving um, contentment in their own life, right? So even with the, um, what is this, the seven of cups that came out, it was in the reverse position on top of that. So of course they seeing it. They like, they know they got too many options and they choose wrong. And they, when they make their choice, they choose wrong and they know they do it based off of their own addictions. Um, and they may even over overanalyze and still end up choosing wrong. And they know this is why they ended up having this disharmony here also between you and the other people that is in their life, right? Whoever they have these connections with two of cups. But that was also in a reverse position. Okay, so, and they did, they see it. They see that they, um, I feel like they may think people give up on them. I feel like, you know, um, they seeing that they actually give up too soon too as well. It's like they don't actually literally fight for it. 
Um, and again, like I said, it's like it's a lot of codependent energy as I'm pulling in, especially from past situations with them, where it could be past lovers or back down into childhood of that feeling of being rejected or um, um, abandonment issues is also what I'm hearing. So I do feel like, you know, they did fall in love here with you, okay, that they did have this romantic relationship with you. I also feel like there's going to be a resurgence at some point. But like right now, and again, I see that your person and I'm hearing is that they're learning from their karmic mistakes. Okay. Um, tell me about the karmic in it for the money. Yeah, renewal. So they're only, wow, they're only playing along with it because again, they're trying to renew the connection because of the money. So some kind of way here it's like they think they can get something out of this right that will help them in the long run all right so i don't know you know if they got some type of um clarity or something about this but they realizing all right if i stay oh and this is what i just heard because your masculine is actually going into a new direction again they're going through a transformation they're building some things the masculine could even be sharing with them some ideas about what they are doing um, in their career, their money, things like that. And it's like this, this karmic is like, I, I need to be a part of that, right? So they're watching all of this take place, okay? So yeah, that's why they are definitely with trying to renew the connection, right? Trying to act like they're showing compassion and forgiveness um, of what, everything that took place in the past, right? So I do feel like they are going to, if they having some type of falling outs and things, that they are definitely going to, um, go back into this state because you know how karmic energies do you just repeat the cycle you go crazy you flip out and all this other crap and the next thing you know we cool again we he 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 ha 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 right together like ain't nothing ever happened okay so let me see something i'm talking fast because y'all already know my time be running out so quickly y'all but i want to pull from i think it's in this deck <clears throat> Here we go. I left you before you could leave me. Self sabotaging energy, of course. My deception to you was my fall from grace, my love. How could you still love me? Wow. I keep myself from you because I don't want to hurt you. I think I've done enough damage. In each lifetime, each dimension, I'm running and I'm hiding. I'm shameful of regret. I let you carry us on your own. Your strength, I am honored. Okay, so remember, every time you stop running divine film from your triggers, guess what? Your masculine stops running as well. Okay, so just remember that um, their self-sabotaging energy, it comes up because of the simple fact, again, they're triggered by something, right? Um, that's why they're always in this deceptive energy, wearing a mask, things like that, right? You know, a lot of times it's like, let me pull away because I am actually destroying divine feminine. And this is a person here that literally helps me, right? That loves me, right? Because off the bat, boom, you are their life support. They can't, they literally can't live without you, okay? Um, I send you sexual energy. They always doing that, all right? So it's all good, right? But deep thought. So your person is definitely in deep thought about a lot of things. So let's see, what are they in deep thought about? Y'all, Ten of Cups. Wow. Having that family, having that happily ever after, the emotional contentment, the loving relationship with you, you know, co-parenting, um, things like that, right? They can trust you. You are their ten of cups. You are their happiness. And I see the rainbow on here, right? So like I said, um, this is a promise made to you guys because why you are their twin flame, okay? So it's inevitable. This faded. Everything that you are experiencing here with this person um, is, is helping you to evolve and grow. Spirit is using your twin as a, a tool. Now, I don't want to call it a tool because that sounds crazy, but don't you know how you got a textbook? And in the textbook, you got stories and stuff like that you're supposed to learn from. Your person literally is that person that you're learning from on this journey, okay? So when you don't face whatever it is that's triggering you, you're not utilizing um, the lessons that are being given to you by the universe, right? So these lessons are being given to you so that you can level up. So don't run from it. Face it. Level the fuck up, okay? 
because that's what it's about. It's about you being the best version of yourself that you can be. All right, y'all. So peace.